guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rev Zokobo and you are so, so welcome. If this is your first time tuning in on this channel, thank you so very much for clicking on this video. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so very much for coming back again. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Cottage Fresh. Yes, if you have heard about Cottage Fresh, you will know that. Or if you have used Cottage Fresh, you will know that Cottage Fresh is indeed a very good uh, black uh, lightning soap. Okay, so uh, I'm going to be talking about the original and the fake, how to spot the original from the fake yes there's been a lot of fake in the market uh, when you go to the market you want to buy cottage fresh there are a lot of things uh different about the fake from the original one so today i'm going to be showing you or talking about the things that you need to know when you are going out to get your uh, cottage fresh okay so and again i'm going to be talking about uh things you can actually mix with your cottage fresh and in order to boost the effect of your cottage fresh okay depending on the shade you are actually looking for okay so if this is what you are looking for on this channel today kindly hit that subscribe button like and share this video put on your notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video okay so without any further ado let's jump right into the topic for today okay so the first thing you need to look out for whenever you are purchasing your cottage fresh is actually the name yes the name on the container okay so this is what it looks like this is the original one yes this is the original one and now i'm going to be showing you the fake yes this is the fake now you know i said before that you need to look out for the name when you look at the original one you can see actually see that uh the original one states alanta samina pure herbal soap while the fake one shows alanta samina pure soap okay it is missing the herbal in the uh, name so you need to look out for that uh, another thing you also need to look out for is the size of the container i don't know if this is the best way to show you the sizes but i'll just put the pictures so you can differentiate between the two which is bigger uh, i think the fake one is bigger than the original one So when you are going to purchase your cottage fresh, you can just maybe go with the previous container that you have, you know, and then check it out whenever you are buying. So you know the sizes. The fake one is actually bigger, uh, slightly bigger than the original one. Now moving on to the next thing, I also uh, want you to note that uh, when you are buying your uh, cottage fresh, you can as well open it. It is not sealed, so you can open it because there is a nylon that is uh, protecting the surface of the soap so as not to stain the cover of the uh, soap, okay? So look out for that make sure that when you want to purchase it you can open it check if that nylon uh, transparent nylon is on the just on top of the uh, soap so you know that is the original one while the fake doesn't have any nylon covering the surface of the uh, soap okay so look out for that the other thing i also want you to look out for whenever you are purchasing your cottage fresh is the badge number yes uh when you check the back of the cottage fresh you will realize that the original one actually has six batch numbers while the fake has uh eight okay so you need to check out that as well okay whenever you are purchasing your cottage fresh yes uh, another thing also you need to look out for is underneath the cottage fresh uh, the original one doesn't have anything written on it uh, but the fake one has cottage written underneath it okay so those are the things you actually uh, need to look out for whenever you are buying your uh, uh, cottage fresh okay your Atlanta Samina pure herbal so okay so those are the things you need to look out for whenever you are purchasing your uh, cottage fresh okay so let's jump right into uh how you can promix your uh cottage the first thing you want to do is have a sterilized container make sure you have a very clean washed container make sure the surface of wherever you are walking is clean your hands are clean and you are wearing a glove okay never 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 miss wearing a glove you should always wear a hand glove okay so after that you have sanitized your, your workstation your area your work area and uh, make sure that you are wearing a hand glove uh, or protecting your products from germs okay from the germs from your hand okay you get what i mean so uh then the next thing you need to do is 
put uh, cottage fresh you need to put it into the container the first thing you're going to be adding is your dupe shampoo yes i'm going to be leaving the picture on the screen that's what a dupe shampoo looks like yes liquid soap uh, that we use okay anyway so but we're going to be using this dope shampoo yes dope shampoo and we're going to be using one tablespoon of dope shampoo uh, after you have poured your cottage fresh into your container like i said before you're going to be adding one tablespoon of your dope shampoo uh, you're going to be adding um white now oil okay we all know what white now oil this is what it looks like okay white now oil you're going to be adding about uh, 7.5 uh, ml of that uh the next thing you're going to be adding is your nature secret oil okay nature secret oil this is what nature secret oil looks like right so and we're going to be adding about 7.5 uh tablespoon the next thing that we're going to be adding is our skin free milk okay skin free milk we're going to be adding one tablespoon you know after making this particular recipe you're going to so love your skin because your skin is going to be glowy and it's going to give you this yellowish undertone okay very beautiful uh color and this particular recipe is for those who want to like really really lighten up their skin it's not just lighten up but super lightening okay let me put it that way super lightening okay uh this is going to be giving you like maybe three to four shades yes uh three to four shades uh it's really really nice okay so the next thing we are going to be adding but uh the last but certainly not the least is your snow white powder okay uh you're going you're just going to be adding like uh one tablespoon of snow white powder okay so you're gonna uh mix that together very well um citro clear um serum okay citro clear serum it's a very good serum okay so you're gonna after putting about uh, 7.5 ml of that you're now gonna mix very well you mix mix uh use your hands okay your gloves covered hands and mix very well okay and then when you mix it you just put it back in your container cover it shut it very tight uh leave it for like maybe two days then you use your product okay uh, after one week you're going to testify it's a very good recipe okay so thank you so very much for watching if this uh, topic was educative kindly hit that subscribe button like and share this video put on your notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i post a new video okay so uh, uh, you can as well leave your comments in the comment section i'll be reading i'll be reading every comment okay so thank you so very much for watching and bye for now